Filmmaking can be expensive, but sometimes it's the budget pieces of gear that can make all the difference. So here are five filmmaking tools under £100 that you might want to consider picking up. The first piece of gear is this quick release plate and every videographer, photographer and content creator needs one of these and if you don't have one of these already then I'm sorry to say but you're doing something wrong. These pretty much live on the bottom of your camera and their purpose is to go from one tripod to a gimbal back to another tripod and maybe even your camera rig. All without screwing and unscrewing all the base plates from the tripods and the gimbals every single time you do want to change from one thing to another. This one is from PGY Tech and to get the plate and the adapter together is £40 so it can be be a little bit expensive if you get more and more over time if you do want to pick one of these up i will leave the amazon link in the description below and i will get a little commission if you do use that link but it won't come at any extra cost to you it will just be helping out the channel the next one may be pushing the 100 pounds mark a little bit because on amazon it's actually listed for 105 pounds i've seen it on wex for 94 pounds and that is the aperture mc i have actually spoke about this light before because i absolutely love it and i've had it for years and it's still going strong i don't use it as much as i did before because i to have new lights now this light is still one of the most perfect lights for you to get when you are an upcoming filmmaker or even if you already are a professional because it's so handy to have these extra little lights hanging around when you do want to build up your sets and if you just want to get a little bit of extra light now this light is only five watts but it is absolutely tiny it's by color and also full rgb it's also magnetic so you can get really creative with how you mount this and it also comes with this little softbox adapter so it's not too harsh if you're just using it on its own but i absolutely love to use this especially for like practical lights or background lights in some of my videos the one thing that really surprised me and when it absolutely came in clutch is when i filmed my wedding last year the dance floor was so dark and i don't have a sony with 12,800 base iso and it would have been very very noisy and really hot the colors would have been so off the white balance would have been completely off luckily i brought this with me and i put it on top of my camera and i just brightened up the whole dance floor and it exposed the sub absolutely perfectly and I'm so happy with how the dance floor came out in this wedding video because without it it would have looked very amateur but because I brought this and I'm so glad I did I reckon it made that wedding video so much better and the footage looks absolutely amazing just because of this little five watt light it can be great for a little fill light or a little kicker hair light on the back if you are short on lights and because it's so small and lightweight why not bring it around with you everywhere you go there is a aperture mc pro now but that's at 200 pounds but the aperture mc is still going strong in 2024 and I really do recommend you pick one up like with the other thing I do have the link in the description on Amazon for this one if you do want to purchase just like every other product that I'll have on this video the third piece of gear that we're going to be talking about is what I'm recording on right now is the DJI mic 2 or the number one now before you go crazy and say that's like 300 pounds we're not talking about the actual combo itself we're just talking about the standalone DJI mic 2 because just the transmitter on its own you can pick this up for 99 pounds and for 99 pounds I think this is an absolute great option for you to buy especially if you're like a content creator or if you're just a videographer in general and you just want a lav mic system to mic someone up because the great thing about these little lav mics is that they're so small and the way you can attach them to people are great you can either just clip them on the shirt like I'm doing now or there's a little magnet on the back that you can actually magnetize underneath the shirt and it's not just great for that as well just the sound quality like at the minute what do you think of it I think the sound quality sounds great considering how small it is you can also attach a lav mic in here make it look a little bit more professional but then obviously that goes over the 100 pound mark so if you do want to get a lav mic that will obviously cost like an extra what 30 to 50 pounds they have 10 or 20 gigabytes of internal storage so you can record up for hours and hours and the great thing about the dji mic 2 but there is a little bit of a weird thing with this is that a dji mic 2 can record in 32 bit flow internally and one of the biggest marketing features of the dji mic 2 is that it can shoot in 32 bit flow even if you wanted to use the receiver and plug it into the camera you can't even shoot in 32 bit straight into the camera anyway you have to do it internally the only way to enable 32 bit flow is you do have to have the receiver or a dji action 4 or dji pocket 3 but if you do know someone or if you already own a dji action 4 for example then you can go into the settings connect it up to this mic and then you have to enable 32 bit flow i wish they do a firmware update at the minute
minute where it just already ships at 32-bit float. However, you don't need the 32-bit float because this mic, even without the 32-bit float, is amazing. It's so good. You don't have to stand near the camera. You can wander off wherever you want. It's great for interviews and for content creators and at 100, under 100 pounds, you're getting so much value for your money because the quality is unbelievable. The fourth piece of gear that I think is an absolute must have is a mini softbox or mini lantern. Now this is assuming you already have a Bowen's mount video light like an Aperture 100D or if it's under 100 pounds, the Godox SL60W, which is a really great one. A mini softbox or lantern might be one of the perfect accessories to get for that light. Now I do prefer a larger softbox or lantern because you do just get softer images and it's just a little bit more pleasing to the eye because with a mini softbox, obviously the softbox is smaller rather than bigger. The diffusion is, uh, is a lot smaller than a bigger softbox. So it's more harsh on the subject's face, like the shadows, for example. Whereas if it's a bigger softbox, there's just more diffusion overall and it's just a little bit more pleasing to the eye. It depends on the look you're going for really, but it doesn't mean it's bad at all. It still looks nice. It still can look professional. At the minute, I'm using a really big lantern. I think it's a 90 centimeter one. That's basically, I like using this because it lights up pretty much the whole room and I get like a nice soft shadow over my face rather than just a harsh, really shadow side to my face. If I'm being honest, a room like I'm in now, the mini softbox is absolutely probably what I need more than a massive lantern. I mean, this takes up so much of my room at the minute and the mini softbox is probably perfect for something like this and I probably will use it for more videos in the future because it is just so great for smaller rooms. So even if you are a professional who has the biggest and the best softboxes and lanterns, you might need a mini softbox anyway because if you do go on a shoot, you never know what room you're going to get put in for an interview, for example. Big softbox might be too much, so this is where the mini comes into play and it could actually save you on a shoot. A mini lantern is perfect for stuff like this, like I said, if you want to light up the background and get a nice soft shadow. Or if you've got to light up two people and you've only got one light, for example, a lantern is great because it spills light out around the whole room so you can light up both subjects. It's just both of them are great for both different scenarios. So if you can pick both up, I would because it depends on the scenario. And a great uh, small lantern is a small rig one, which is also an Amazon for about £89. The last filmmaking tool is an absolute must have in my opinion. And I can't believe it's taken me this long to buy one, even though I've actually wanted one for a very long time, but I've just never really thought I've needed it. And it's so cheap as well. I, don't, I still don't know why I didn't pick one up earlier. And that is a small rig magic arm. These magic arms are absolutely amazing. And I've never thought I'd use it as much as I did. I can't show you right now because at the minute it's attached to my tripod on the camera and it's got my mic attached to it to boom onto my mouth. You can attach it to a tripod, put a monitor on it. If you see this shelf up here, I attach my small rig magic arm onto that shelf and then that's how I get my top down shots onto my desk. I don't have to have a tripod or anything. Attach a quick release plate system. These go into like I mentioned earlier and then there's a top down shot ready to go. You can also get some really unique shots as well like if you want to get a really cool POV shot and recently what I've been using it for at the minute is BTS wedding photography. I've absolutely loved using this. It can be a little bit annoying sometimes. I use the DJI Pocket 3 and I attach it onto the bottom of my camera cage. It's super tight. It's super secure and then I put my DJI Pocket 3 on the back of it to get some BTS of my camera. It's so versatile. I can't believe I've never got this before and I really do recommend you do buy this. It's such a great tool for filmmakers. So if you do want it and I really do recommend you do, I will leave the link in the description below for you to go purchase and again, I will get some commission for that. So if you do, thank you very much because you will be helping out the channel but it won't come at any extra cost to you. Thank you very much for watching and if you did enjoy this video, you might like this video up here. We're actually talk about this really cool budget 60 watt light that's under 200 pounds if you do want to see more info about that light then make sure you watch that video next